Yo, what is up, my cool customers? It's Kusa here. We got an air Wi-Fi battle against a girl by the name of Bottom. I found in the quid uh, zap. I was looking for an RU battle, and she accepted. And, yeah, that's that. She has a couple interesting Pokemon on her team, like Benat and Dustox. I'm not exactly sure what they're going to do. But, uh, yeah, you just got to play it out and go from there. So she's in a league with Excelgore, and uh, I'm thinking, you know what? It's probably standard league, going to set up some spikes, focus sash. So I'm going to go for the U-turn on this thing, but it's Choice Scarf final gamut because my primate is Choice Scarf. There's no way she can outspeed me unless she uh, is rocking a scarf on this guy, but that's not the case. Um, she's going to take out my primate one hit, and I was like, why? Why do you have a Choice Scarf? But uh, it's I guess it's the element of surprise because I don't think like anybody's expecting that. But um, I'm going to go with my Electros here. She goes into Banette. And she's going to set up a Calm Mind. Now, I'm an Acid Spraying Electros, which means that um, as I go for an Acid Spray, she gets a minus two special defense. So that's perfect because now she's at minus one. And I'm thinking she's going to switch out for sure because Electros has decent bulk. I mean, it can take a hit for sure. But uh, I guess she decides to stay in, but I don't know. Uh, she gets a critical hit, and that hurts. That really hurts. But I'm going to go for the Acid Spray, predicting the switch. But she just stays in. She wanted to kill off this guy. And at this point, I'm like, she's definitely going to go for another Shadow Ball. And I can uh, freely bring in my Mill Tank. So that's the plan right here. I'm going to switch out. Go to my Mill Tank because I have Scrappy and I am a Cursing Mill Tank. And I'm pretty sure even if this thing gets up two or three uh, Calm Mines, it's not going to be able to hit me if she has the Fighting and uh, Shadow Ball. If she has Hidden Power Fighting and Shadow Ball, I'm pretty sure Hidden Power Fighting is not even going to hurt that much. Because I'm fully invested in Special Defense. But here she's going to bring Cafagrigus, and uh, I'm thinking, I have Scrappy, you know, I'm golden right now. But what I didn't realize is that this thing has Mummy, which is, you know, it's obvious it has Mummy. But uh, it just didn't click in my head there that I have money. Mummy. So I'm like, why is she staying in? She knows that I have Mummy. I mean, that she knows I have Scrappy and I can hit it. But uh, she's just going to start sending Calm Minds as I'm going to set up my curses even more. Because I see no reason not to. I mean... Here, hidden power fighting is not going to hurt that much, even after plus two or three. I mean, I am fully invested in special defense, like I just said. So, yeah. And it's only base 70 power, unstabbed, so it's not going to hurt. I mean, actually, after like four or five call mines, yes, it's going to hurt. It's probably going to be a two-hit KO, but whatever. Um, back to the battle here. I'm going to go for another curse. I believe that's my third. Has uh, She's just going to go for another call mine. But at this point, she's outspeeding me because I do have like minus three speed. And now she's going to go for the energy ball. Sorry, guys. I am plus four, by the way. Yeah, that's that. But I have body slam over return just because uh, it can uh, slow down a lot of fast pokes with a with 30% uh, chance of paralysis. And that's always nice because it can save the battle sometimes. And uh, regardless, you know, even if I'm like plus three, plus four, Mill Tank's not going to one-hit KO too many things unless they're like really frail. So I don't see like a point of running return. But here I realize that the mummy activates, and I'm like, crap, I cannot hit this thing anymore. I'm going to have to switch out to Electros, mainly as Death Fodder, half as like hoping she goes for something that I can live or dodge or whatever. But yeah, mainly as Death Fodder. But I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt here, just wanting to uh, get as much damage on it so Absol can hopefully come in and kill it off. What I could have done is gone for the Acid Spray, but at this point I didn't see, I, at this point I didn't like see that it was helpful because she still would be plus one which would still hurt, and I'd rather just get some damage on it. Hopefully, hopefully Absol can um, kill it off. But uh, Absol kind of fails at that. I'm not life for I'm Lumberry. That's probably why. But she goes for the Energy Ball, and I'm like, you know, why do you have Energy Ball? Like, Hidden Power Fighting would have probably done work on my mill tank after plus three or whatever she was. Definitely would have one shot the Absol. You know, you should not be running that. Shadow Ball, Hidden Power Fighting is just perfect. But um, she brings in Krugadile now after I kill off that Cafagrigus as I bring in Gligger. Now I'm thinking, why not just stay in here? I can get a Toxic off. If she's planning to stay in, I'm perfectly okay with that. Um, I can get a Toxic off. I can, I can just Roost stall it. Maybe I can get my Rocks up. And uh, yeah, that's that. Because most of the time I wouldn't really care for Toxic on a Scarfer. But she's just going to stay and go for the Crunches. I guess she's trying to get um, Defense Drops to the point where she can 2-3 to three hit KO me. But I believe she only has one defense chop here, so I'm just going to speed this part up because it is stally. Basically, what I do here is get up my stealth rocks as she just keeps on crunching me. Barely live with 15 HP, barely. But um, I get the roost off, and at this point, I'm thinking, I'm not going to attack this thing. I'm just going to keep on roosting until it dies from toxic. And uh, yeah, that's what I have to do because I really don't want to switch into anything into a crunch right now and take unnecessary damage. So here it finally faints. 
and she brings in dust socks. I'm like, what what do dust socks does even do? Like I've never played one ever. Not in fourth gen and not in fifth gen. So I'm gonna switch out to Absol here, mainly as Death Fodder, just to see what it does. And uh she goes for an iron defense and right away I'm I don't know, Hayden's like Pokemon, I can't remember what he was using, but it set up iron defense. It like clicked into my mind, I'm like, maybe it's a toxic staller with iron defense, just like Hayden's was back when I used to um watch all his like fourth gen battles. He used to use a Pokemon. I can't I think his name was Molly too, but like um he used to wa he used to use one that had Iron Defense, I think Toxic, Bug Buzz. I I'm not exactly sure, but I feel like this is kind of like the same thing, so I'm going to treat it like that. I set up a Swords Dance with Absol, which is kind of risky, but if I want to do any damage to it, I'm going to have to set up a Swords Dance to hopefully get off a hit. But here's where things start looking good. I bring in Simipore. Now, um, she told me that this was fully invested in defense and HP and no special defense EV, so um, Simipore got a crit on the Hydro Pump. Not sure if it mattered because his Life Orb boosted Stab Hydro Pump. That's going to hurt. So um, she's going to bring in her Banat. I'm pretty sure I can live any hit. Shadow Ball's going to hurt, but it's not going to kill me. So I'm just going to set up a Nasty Plot. And uh, hopefully take this thing out. She is plus one, but uh, I'm pretty sure I can still take it out. Because Hydro Pump, Life Orb, Nasty Plot. Just enough stab. Stab too. I love this Pokemon. It's Hidden Power Ice. No, Hidden Power Electric. No, it's actually Hidden Power Grass, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Nasty Plot. Gets pretty good coverage. Um, can take out those Gastros. And that's there's an abundance of those in RU, so I really like this Pokemon. And uh, yeah, now I'm just gonna finish off this Entei with a Hydro Pump. I don't know if she had Extreme Speed, but uh, it is shiny, so I'm pretty sure she did. Maybe she just thought that there was no point of going for it. Maybe it was a Calm Mining set, who knows? But she didn't go for it. So yeah, that was a good game, bottom. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this narration. If you did, please leave a like rating, drop a comment too, subscribe to PMP Beta. And uh, come check out my channel. I've got some uh, cool things going on over there. So I'll talk to you guys later. And peace.